What is up, everybody? JT Dangerous here once again. I am back from my Ring of Honor and New Japan Pro Wrestling's War of the Worlds Toronto 2019 predictions. Now, War of the Worlds Toronto happens this Thursday, live and exclusively on Honor Clip from the Ted Reeves Arena in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Now, this War of the Worlds event in Canada is pretty damn stacked this year. We have eight huge matches with one Ring of Honor title on the line. So I'm very excited to do my War of the Worlds Toronto predictions for you guys, and I hope you guys do enjoy. Now, this is the second video of some big videos that will be up on the channel today and this week, so I hope you guys will be able to watch all of these videos. Always show your support on my channel, as always, by watching those videos, super kicking those like buttons and that notification bell, commenting your picks and your opinions in the comment sections down below. Now, this is your first time watching my channel today. It's a first-time viewer, and this is your first video. Boy, you're to go in if you're a huge Ring of Honor and New Japan Pro Wrestling fan like myself, and you're ready for this War of the Worlds tour heading to Toronto, Canada. Welcome to the Dangerous Alliance. I'm JT Dangerously. Welcome to the club because this club is just, just two. Whoop, whoop. Again, thank you guys so very much. Now, other than that, let's get right into these predictions. Now, if they do add any other matches to this card, which they probably will, I'll have them in the comment section down below. But I'm going to do the eight matches that have already been determined. Let's start off with the first matchup. It is a one-on-one -on -one first ever meeting. On one side, he is a former member of the Nexus, the core Johnny Mundo Slamtown, and a former tag team champion. He is the Darewolf PJ Black. And his opponent is coming in the hottest wrestler in Ring of Honor in 2019. He is the undefeated El Toro Blanco Roosh. So coming from me in this one-on-one -on -one first ever meeting between these two, I kind of think the deciding factor is who's going to break the rules first. We know PJ Black doesn't break the rules, but we do know Roos does, and he'll do whatever it takes to win by any means. So coming from me, I am taking El Toro Blanco Roos to defeat the Darewolf PJ Black by any means. And now the next matchup. It is a one-on-one -on -one showdown on one side. He is a former IWGP heavyweight champion, a legend in New Japan Pro Wrestling, and, it, and he's making his return to the United States for the first time in years. And if you know his music, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Blue Justice, Yuji Nagata, and his opponent is the former two-time Ring of Honor World Television Champion, and if you know his music, he's one of my favorite heels in Ring of Honor, you know who I'm talking about. He is professional wrestling's last real man, Silas Young. Now, this is going to be an absolute slugfest between two real men. Now, starting off with Yuji Nagata, I think this is his first time back in the United States in years. And it's great to see him back, and I was happy that they, they got him onto this show instead of those other shows in Los Angeles, Charlotte, uh, earlier in the year. But I'm happy he's here in Ring of Honor, making his Ring of Honor debut at War of the Worlds Toronto, and he's looking to get a big win coming back to the United States. Then on your side, you have Silas Young looking to stop the legend, legend Yuji Nagata from getting a big win back in the United States, and he's looking to get a big name on, the, on, the, on his record book as a big win. And Silas Young definitely needs some wins in 2019. 2019 has not been his year since his Year, uh, his uh, his year last year, so he's looking to get back on top by knocking off one of the best, uh, one of the biggest legends in New Japan Pro Wrestling. So coming from me in this big time matchup between two real men, oh man, it's Misery versus the Cross Arm Breaker and Exploder Suplex. One of those moves is going to be the ending of this match, and I think, I think it's going to be Misery for Yuji Nagata. So I'm going to take Pro Wrestling's last real man, Silas Young, to defeat. Yuji Nagata, by any means. 
And now the next matchup. It is a tag team showdown that could be a contenders match for the Ring of Honor Tag Team or IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team titles. On one side, they are representing the Kingdom. And they are the former and only three-time Ring of Honor World Six-Man Tag Team Champions. The team of the Sassy Wild Horse, TKO Ryan, and the Horror Master, Vinny Marcellius. And their opponents are representing Los Ingobernables de Alpone. They are the former two-time IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. The back-to-back -back winners of World Tag League. They are the team of King of Darkness, Evil, and Cold Skull Sonata. Now this is going to be a very, very important tag team matchup because this matchup could be a contender shot for either the Ring of Honor Tag Team or IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team. But I think it's more important for this Kingdom Squad of TK and Vinny because this is a chance to knock off easily the second best tag team in New Japan Pro Wrestling's history in Evil and Sonata. If they can do that, they'll be right in line for a Ring of Honor World Tag Team title shot, which I think they deserve because they're very underrated. A lot of people don't talk about them, but they should because they are a very good tag team. During the years of have Evil and Sonata looking to get back into the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team title race, and big wins here at War of the Worlds will definitely get them right back to the number one contendership for those belts, and they're looking to fit, get, it, get it done right here. So, coming from me in this huge tag team battle with momentum at stake for either the Ring of Honor Tag Team or IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team titles, as much as I love TK and Vinny, I have to go with Evil and Sonata to defeat TK Orion and Vinny Marcellius by any means. And now the next matchup. It is a six-man tag team battle on one side. They are representing the New Japan Pro Wrestling LA Dojo, the Young Lions six-man squad of Alex Hoglin, Carl Fredericks, and Clark Connors. And their opponents are representing the cutthroat era of... And it's definitely going to be a family affair. On one side, you have the uh, the big man of uh, Bullet Club, other than Bad Luck Fale. He is Hikaleo. And you have the reigning five-time IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. And as of right now, the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions. The best damn tag team in New Japan Pro Wrestling right now. And if you know their music, you know who I'm talking about. Consisting of the Silverback, Tongaloa, and the good bad boy, Tamatonga, the Gorillas of Destiny, or God. So, coming from me in this six-man tag team battle between the Young Lions and Bullet Club, I think you already know I'm going with the, fam the family of Hikaleo and the Gorillas of Destiny to defeat the Young Lions squad of Alex Coughlin, Carl Fredericks, and Clark Connors by any means. And now the next matchup. It is a very imp important matchup. Four corner survival match on one side. First, he is representing Villain Enterprises and he is one third of the Ring of Honor six man tag team champions. He is the big man Brody King. Next, you have Ring of Honor's resident heavy hitter. He is Shane Taylor. Next, he is representing Chaos and he is a former four time never open weight champion. And if you know his music, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> The Fierce Warrior Hiroki Goto, and finally you have the reigning, undefeated Ring of Honor World Television Champion. He is, as of right now, still the never open weight champion. He is the unstoppable Hawaiian juggernaut himself, Jeff Cobb. Now, this four corner survival matchup could easily be a four corner survival match, instant reward match, because you got three challengers. Going after Jeff Cobb in this matchup because he is the reigning Ring of Honor television champion, and you got three contenders that could absolutely give Jeff Cobb a run for the run for his money for either belt. 
You got Goto, who is a former never open weight champion, looking to regain that gold back. You got Brody King looking to add more gold to Villain Enterprises. You got Shane Taylor, who pushed Jeff Cobb to his limits at the 17th anniversary show this past March. And you got the reigning champion with the biggest target on his back because he's got a one in three chance of winning this. So, coming from me in this very important four corner survival matchup. Oh, this one's so damn tricky. Four corner survival matches are always hard to predict. Any predictor would say any predictor would say that. A four corner survival matchup are always hard to predict. If triple threats, triple threat tags, fatal four ways are always hard to predict getting one winner. So coming from me, I may get this one wrong. I would say the only two contenders I think could win this is Cobb and Goto. So I'm gonna take Jeff Cobb to defeat Hiroki Goto, Brody King, and Shane Taylor. And now the next matchup, it is a very big tag team battle on one side. They are representing Lifeblood, consisting of Overkill Mark Haskins, a.k.a. Little CM Punk, and Hot Sauce Tracy Williams. And their opponents are the former unprecedented 10-time Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions, and they have a great chance to make it number 11 in Chicago in this War of the Worlds tour. They are easily the greatest tag team in Ring of Honor's history, and if you know their music, you know who I'm talking about. It's time to reach for the sky, boy. They are Mark J. The Briscoes. Now, this matchup is definitely important for both teams. I mean, starting off with a lifeblood squad of Haskins and Hot Sauce, this is quite possibly, this could possibly be their biggest win of their tag team career in Ring of Honor. I mean, they had some wars with Lethal and, Gr Lethal and Gresham at Masters of the Craft in that 30 minute. Iron Man tag team battle and they look so good. They can go against they can go really against anybody and really this matchup is big because if they win, they'll be right in line for a Ring of Honor tag team title shot. They're on your side of the Briscoes who are coming in looking to gain some momentum for their quite possible Ring of Honor tag team title opportunity at War of the Worlds Chicago at an international TV taping because if the Grills of Destinies retain that the tag team titles in Buffalo the Gorillas of Destiny will defend those belts in Chicago against the former champs, the Briscoes, and to look to continue their long-term rivalry that started all the way back in 2016. So the Briscoes cannot look ahead. they got to look to the here and now and get a big win here and then hope the Gorillas of Destiny are to still the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions so they can have a chance to make it championship reign number 11. So coming from me in this huge tag team battle with momentum at stake for both teams... As much as I like the lifeblood squad of Haskins and Hot Sauce, you already know I love the Briscoes. So I'm taking them boys, the Briscoes, to defeat Overkill Mark Haskins and Hot Sauce Tracy Williams by any means. And now the next matchup. It is a one-on-one -on -one showdown between two former world champions on one side. He is a former IWGP heavyweight champion. He is easily the most decorated tag team wrestler in New Japan Pro Wrestling's history with his partner Hiroshi Tenzan and Tenkazi. He is the master of bread club, Satoshi Kojima. And his opponent is the former longest reigning two-time Ring of Honor world champion. He is indeed the franchise of Ring of Honor and if you know his music, you know who I'm talking about. He is Jay Lethal. Now, this one's going to be an absolute class. I think this one's going to be a very good matchup. I mean, you got Satoshi Kojima making his, his trip to the United States, I think, for the first time in his legendary career. And his first opponent is the former Ring of Honor World Champion, Jay Lethal. What 
How how better that can that be? I mean, for Kojima, he's been doing so well in 2019 in New Japan Pro Wrestling. He's been tag teaming with his boys Homba and uh, the God against some young lions. His partner Tenzon's coming off knee surgery, so he's been taking over the reins of Tenkazi. And he's looking very good after that knee injury he suffered last year. He looks like he hasn't lost a beat. And he's looking to get his a big win here in the United States against the former Ring of Honor World Champion. Then there's idea of Jay Lethal coming off his heartbreaking loss to the uh, his heartbreaking loss of the Ring of Honor World Championship at G1 Supercard um, against Matt Taven and Marty Scroll, and now this is the first time he hasn't been the World Champion in in a, in a couple months. He he lost the belt in April, and he's uh, he lost no he lost the belt in yeah he lost the belt in April. He's been he hasn't been the champion for over a month. He had a shot at the Ring of Honor Tag Team Titles in Buffalo. We don't know if he's gonna. He could be coming in as the new Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions, but Lethal's looking to get back on the on top. And we and we did hear in the press conference uh, at G1 Supercard, Matt Taven gave Jay Lethal a shot at the Ring of Honor World Title. So we may be seeing Lethal and Taven once again at possibly at best in the world in June in Baltimore. So Lethal's looking to get back on top by knocking off a former Ring of uh, IWGP Heavyweight Champion. So coming from in this one-on-one -on -one showdown between two former World Champions. Ah, oh, man, as much as I love Kojima, I'm going to go with the franchise Jay Lethal to defeat Satoshi Kojima. And now the main event, the one I have been waiting for, it is for the undisputed real Ring of Honor World Championship. Starting off with the challenger. He is representing Villain Enterprises. He is a former Ring of Honor Tag Team Champion. He is two-thirds of the Ring of Honor Six-Man Tag Team Champions, and he is looking to become the next Ring of Honor World Champion. He is a man who is indeed not human. He is PCO, and PCO is challenging the reigning and defending and the only the second Grand Slam Champion in Ring of Honor's history. He is the undisputed, real Ring of Honor World Champion, the leader of the kingdom, and if you know his music, you know who I'm talking about, you Melvins. He's Matt Taven. Now this one's going to be an absolute war. We're in PCO's home country of Toronto. PCO earned his opportunity by defeating Matt Taven in that six-man tag team street fight at Masters of the Craft for the six-man tag team titles. And this is his first opportunity at the Ring of Honor World Championship. And this man, and let me just tell you firsthand, if you do not, if you've not watched the PCO matchup, the dude is indeed not human. He's 50 years old and he's taking bumps like he's 20 and he seems to never get him down. I mean, if you watch those things on Mondays with PCO and D Destro, what D Destro puts PCO through to make him indestructible is insane. He even he even uh, headbutted a um, a claw machine to, and got uh, uh, he headbutted the claw machine, broke the glass, and he and he gave some toys to to a kid that was looking for toys. Like, something right out of the Kane Sunday Night Heat thing, if you remember that. But PCO is coming in hot. He's undefeated. He has not been pinned in Ring of Honor in 2019. He is, he is in, and this is his hometown. It's Toronto. And he could be, he could be walking out with, he could be walking out with more gold for Villain Enterprises. Hell, Marty Scroll has a chance to become the NWA champion. Brody King could be right in line for a TV title shot or a never open weight title shot. And PCO could be the, the world champion, which, again, I wouldn't mind to see. Darren the Year's idea, Matt Taven coming off his first title defense at a television taping against Flip Gordon. But this is his first title defense at an honor club show. After winning the belt at G1 Supercard in that triple threat ladder match. And where Matt Taven made history and became the undisputed real Ring of Honor World Champion. Whether anybody likes it or not. He earned that. He deserved it. And... And what a what a daunting task Matt Taven's got to go through against a undefeated, unstoppable man like PCO. Hell, you can't even call him a man. He is not human. And I kind of think the the deck is stacked against Matt Taven because 
he could have fought anybody for this title in Toronto, but he had to be PCO, a guy who's never been pinned. So, coming from me in this huge matchup for the Ring of Honor World Championship, as much, as much as I want to see PCO win this Ring of Honor World Championship, it would be stupid for him, it would be stupid for Matt Taven to lose it in his first, his second title defense since winning the belt. It would be dumb. And I think Matt Taven will do whatever it takes to win. And that's what Matt Taven does. Because he is the leader of the kingdom, and he is Matt Taven. He's Matt Taven. So, coming from me in this matchup, I am taking Matt Taven to retain the Ring of Honor World Championship by any means and defeat PCO. Thy kingdom come. And those are my War of the Worlds Toronto 2019 predictions. Now, I want to thank you guys so very much for watching this video today. Comment below, who do you have winning all these matchups? Who do you have winning between PCO and Matt Taven for the undisputed Ring of Honor title? Let me know in the comment section below your picks and your opinions. Let's have a conversation about it. Of course, I'm always on to see your comment, like it, and of course, reply right back to you because comments are absolutely always welcome on this channel. I do want to thank you guys so very much for watching this video today. Now, before you guys go, you guys can never forget to do this. That like button, comment, share, which friends, of course, super kick that like button like only you guys can. Of course, you guys can never forget to do this as well. That subscribe button, become part of this bigger and dangerous, dangerous alliance. And I will see you guys later today for my Ring of Honor and New Japan Pro Wrestling's War of the Worlds Grand Rapids 2019 predictions. Later days, guys, and peace.